Good day to you. This is Anathea, your Divine Feminine Educator. And this video today is going to be way too much fun. So much fun. And I'm excited to be here because I'm going to take you through your chakra system. You're going to have a chakra system experience because guess what? I hope that I've set this up okay so you can actually see the visuals and everything for this. But I want you to know that we are in the great awakening. And if you pay attention to everything that's happening outside yourself, oh my God, you're going to miss the amazing opportunity for big transformation here. Transformation to access your aliveness. Transformation to access your power. Transformation to access your truth and transformation to open your heart and to connect to those that you love in a deeper, more authentic, more juicy way than you ever dreamed possible. That is why I am so excited about doing this video today. Now, I want to let you know what I'm going to basically do is we are going to go through the chakra system. Now, linked to this article, and before I begin, what I have to back up I have to back up because I want to let you know, I'm not just coming out of left field with this information to you. I want you to know that I have been doing personally yoga for over 23 years and that my own personal practice as a yogini has literally saved my life. It has helped me to really connect to the wisdom of my body and to get out of the insanity of my mind and the beauty and grace and healing energy of being in my body. And I will tell you, I suffered many years in my younger years with body image issues and food obsessions. And yoga really helped me to journey through that and heal that. That was one aspect. There were other aspects that healed me from that as well. But yoga played an integral part. I remember actually one time, and this is when I had really big body image issues. And I, this was my first experience in yoga. And I would do go to these amazing teachers and we were in a geodesic dome and I remember being in trikonasana I believe I was in triangle pose and this rush of pleasure came through my body and that was the first it was like oh my gosh I had hated my body so much and to have this beautiful rush of pleasure moving through coursing through my body in the stillness of that pose that was the beginning of my journey with yoga. So that was over 23 years ago. And then I began teaching yoga pretty quickly. I started subbing for the, that actual teacher in the geodesic dome. And then, so I've been, I've taught for 16 years, Kundalini certified, Vinyasa flow certified. And so those were my main things was Kundalini yoga and Vinyasa flow. And the reason why I loved those two so much was that the Kundalini yoga practices help to literally spiritualize your sexual energy. And oops, I said the word sex. So therefore, YouTube and Facebook are going to penalize me because it's not uh, pornography sex. It's just spiritual sexuality, which is empowering to you. And so please, I want to ask you, if you really enjoy this video, share it because I can't do Facebook ads. This is what I'm realizing. I can't grow my business with um, Facebook ads because of the algorithms. If you have the word sex, it's a no-no. It's bad. But the, the, what I'm teaching is waking up sex, is using your sexual energy as your human potential, as your creative life force energy. Okay, I don't want to get off track because this is really such, this is such powerful information. I want to remind you that everything that, all the crazy stuff that's going on out there, we're literally having an opportunity to learn the yogic principles in our mainstream world and in our everyday life. Even if you're not a yogini, it's so up in our face, all that is wrong, that it's your opportunity to get off the mainstream bandwagon, to jump out of the box and live your unique you. Because it's all right up in our face, all that's wrong now. 
It's not having to look deeper. It's right there in front of us. And so this is your opportunity to awaken. And I want to help you with that. So let me, let me, let me back up. I have so much that I want to share with you that I just get off on tangents. So I even have notes here to keep me on track. I'm going to take you through a beautiful experience of just uh, connecting to your chakras. And so by the end of this video, you're going to feel balanced and healed and centered and connected to you. You'll feel calmer. So that's what we're shooting for. That's what we're going to go. But I have to do a little bit of explaining before we actually get into that. All right. This is going to be a, like a colorful experience as well. Thanks for being here, by the way. I really appreciate you listening to this information because this is divine feminine wisdom that needs to get out to the world right now. And if you are listening, you are part of the process of the awakening. It's really important. There's such powerful energy on the planet right now. Mars, the planet of beating things up, but force and courage and intention is close to the earth right now, closer than it normally is. And so we have that intensity that we can be experiencing right now. All right. So let me tell you that this is the first of, I'm going to do seven more of these. Like every Wednesday at 12 noon, I'm going to be doing a, um, a video on the chakras. This one is about all the chakras. And in the link to this video, whether it's up here or down here, you will see a link to an article that I wrote that actually explains every single chakra. And in that article, then you have a link to a detailed article that you can quickly go to and easily go to that you're going to have the positive and negative expressions of the, um, of the chakra explained in more detail. And then the lesson that you're supposed to be learning, what you really are supposed to be learning in that area of your uh, life with the, the chakras, and then an exercise that you can do to open and balance your chakras for that particular chakra, specifically that particular chakra. So in this video, I'm going to go through all seven chakras, and this is going to be just a really beautiful balancing experience. You see, so th this is the chakra system right here. You have your root chakra, which is red, you, and it's at, at the base of your spine. It's at the bottom of your body, and it flows into Mother Earth. You have what I call your sex chakra. Oops. <laughs> It's your sex, power, and money chakra. And I don't mean to be so um, disregarding when I use that word because it's really important for us to hold our sexuality as sacred. But I get a little bit, I guess I'm, I'm a little bit, maybe I, I heard this word this morning because I re was reading some affirmations this morning. Um, compassion, fatigue. I'm, I, I think I'm going through compassion fatigue because it's so up in our face to wake up and it's not anymore unclear what is right and what is wrong. It's just that what's right could be scary. So that first chakra is being stimulated in all of us. You, you, can't, you can't say, oh, I'm not afraid. Everything's changing so much and people don't like change that um, if you aren't admitting that there's some fear, some worry, some anxiety, some concern, what that is happening, then you're not really feeling that fear that you should naturally be feeling. It's not like you need to be freaked out because maybe you trust in the process, but that first chakra is destabilized for all of us on the planet right now. That's about feeling safe and feeling at home in your body. The second chakra is the sex, power, and money chakra. So this is how we honor ourselves and others, how we navigate our finances and, and our relationship to money, our sexuality, and our power with, within a relationship. So that's the second chakra, and it's orange. Uh, the third chakra is yellow. This is my kitty, Elsie, visiting us. Uh, the third chakra is yellow. And it's right here. And this is your seat of your emotions. So this is your seat of your self-esteem. It also is in charge of your gut instincts, which we've lost because we've been become a too uh, much of an over-analytical society and culture and world. 
And we've lost our gut instincts and in knowing what's right and knowing what's wrong for us. So it's really important for you to activate your solar plexus. And the way you do that is you become emotionally intelligent. You learn to face your emotions instead of fearing them. So this is a beautiful, powerful chakra. And what do we do as women? We're always negating our bellies. It sticks out too much. It's not perfectly flat. And that shuts that chakra down. That's just one example. Touch your belly. Love your belly. As a woman, it's supposed to stick out. It's supposed to be round. Okay? There's a lot of juice and a lot of power right there in your solar plexus, the seat of your emotions. And then we have the heart. This is the middle chakra. This is the chakra where there's three chakras below you and there's three chakras above you. And by the way, there's more chakras, but I, in this series, I'm talking about the seven main chakras of the body. So this, the heart chakra is green, but we also think of it as maybe, you know, pink or like the red heart, but it's so beautiful because when you're green inside, you know, if you eat your veggies, it literally will open your heart. Or I remember when I lived in Las Vegas and everything was so barren. It has its own beauty. But when I moved to Northern California with the green forest, I could li literally, because there was such a, a, um, a difference, a big difference. So that when I moved here, when I first moved here, I'd, I would look at the green trees and, oh, my heart would open. So these colors are powerful. I'll tell you, when I was 39 years old, and my first husband passed away. It was interesting. I wore pink t-shirts all the time. It was like energetically, I needed that pink energy, that pink love energy to be around me. And I believe that the angels were around me supporting me. So it was really beautiful. So this is a, I think of it as pink, but the real color of the chakra is green, beautiful green. Eat your veggies, it'll open your heart. Um, get green, get out in nature and see the green that will open your heart. And if we bring heart energy into the other chakras, especially the lower chakras, there's huge transformation that happens. You can see I'm very excited about this beautiful idea of becoming more alive in your body through these energy centers. See, chakra in, is the Sanskrit word for wheel. And so these are energy centers in our body and they can get clogged. Okay, so then we have the throat chakra. So this, you know, a lot of, a lot of women and people have thyroid issues. I do, I have a swollen thyroid here. My mother had the same. We have been cut off from our own truth, speaking our own truth. But this is also aligned with your will, uh, uh, putting your will and your intentions out into the world. But you see, you will do better if you align your will with divine will. So now we're starting to work to the higher parts of the body. These are more connected to earth and the physical realm, and these are more connected to the spiritual realm. And so if you align your will with divine will, life will go so much better. And the other thing though too about this chakra is really about being able to speak your truth. Now, I've said it many times, but I'm going to say it again, and you'll find this very interesting. The fifth chakra and the second chakra are directly related. I mean, the whole body is connected. But these two chakras, when you were a little embryo in your mother's womb at the third trimester, your vocal cords and your genitals, oops, I might get cut off YouTube and, and Facebook, were developed at the same time. And I've seen this when I work with, he, with healing and in my own experience, these two are intimately connected. You may have heard me say this, but this is a powerful thing to know. So your sex life can only be as good as you can communicate. And so if you increase your communication, you'll enhance your sex life it, um, and you can't do it any other way. I'm sorry. You, if, you, if you can ask for what you need, you're not going to have a good sex life. Okay. So that's your throat chakra. Then we have, it's, you know, it's kind of confusing, right? That's called your third eye, but that's your sixth chakra. And this is indigo. Oh, I'm sorry. This is indigo. I didn't tell the color. This is indigo, which indigo is kind of like a deep, dark blue. And then we go up to 
uh, your third eye, which is kind of like a um, no, no, I'm sorry. This is I, I get these all mixed up. The, the top ones I get mixed up. So this one right here is your throat chakra, which is blue, right? But then the third eye, you know, it can be turquoise, it can be indigo, and then you say indigo. Well, what the heck is indigo? So indigo is a deeper color of blue, right? And then you go to the, well, let me get, get back to the, the third eye. So the third eye is how do you awaken your third eye? By closing your other two. You see, we think that reality is everything that we see out there. But the reality is, is that's an illusion and it's, it's filtered by your limiting belief systems. And so you can wake up literally by closing these two eyes and activating your third eye, your sixth chakra. Okay. And have you ever meditated and seen that per, I see that purpley, uh, um, beautiful pulsing and I've seen white there as well. So if you don't have a meditation practice, um, it's really important to have one. Now, now, the problem with meditation is that some people will sit in meditation and think about all their problems. That's why I like to do pranayama or breath work. So you do breath work and then you go to stillness and you can feel the energy through the body and you feel the stillness in that third eye. And then you get intuitive hits and all kinds of wonderful things. If you're not doing that, this is the, this is the way to live a juicy life not going out to some noisy restaurant and drinking too much or having too much dessert or high fattening foods, you know, or a noisy, um, a noisy cocktail lounge. I mean, we can't do it as much these days, but that is going to change because we are in the great awakening and this is your time to go inward and awaken yourself. Okay. Third eye. Now crown chakra. So this is so beautiful, the crown chakra. Oh my gosh, the crown chakra is, is violet. So it's this light purple and it's also white because this is your connection to heaven. When babies are born, they have that soft spot on the top of their head because they just came from heaven, from spirit, from source, right? And then that closes up, but you can keep your connection to source. All right. So I hope that's helpful for you. You take that energy in from source, from the universal wisdom, and it comes in through your body and you process it. Now you can have energy coming in and out through any of your chakras as well, but I'm going to go into more detail um, in the next few weeks. Next week, I will be talking about the root chakra. You, no. Yes, I'm going to start from here up. Did I decide I was going to start from here up? Yes. But for this meditation, I'm going to start from here down. Because what I want to help you do in this guided meditation that I'm going to take you through is to calm your tush down. And rightfully so, you can be filled with anxiety. Rightfully so, you can be filled with uncertainty. That's what's happening right now. We are all under a tremendous amount of pressure. And if you tune into you, that beautiful pressure, and hold it in love and compassion, a diamond, a shiny diamond will emerge. We can't keep it be intense and negative for a long time. And the universe is such that where there's yin, there's yang. Where there's up, there's uh, down. Where there's front, there's back. Where there's top, there's bottom. So right now where there's contraction, there's expansion. We are in a very contractive time and we're going to be in a very contractive time, probably all the way till January. Then we have other issues to deal with. But for the rest of the year, this is a, this is a, um, you're in a tuning fork, you're under pressure. And so it's really important for you to nurture you and go inward and not listen to all that is outward and buy into it 100%. Yes, you can listen to those things, but don't get hooked into it. Don't make it your reality. This is your reality. Your breath is your reality. Your relationships and how you feel about people and the love that you feel for them, or what's bubbling up in you that is making judgments come up about them. 
That is real. That is your opportunity to clear that, to heal that. And you can work through the chakra system to help you do that. All right, so I hope you have enjoyed what I've shared so far because I this is so powerful. To get connected to your body is a beautiful way to live. And most of us are just living in the insanity of our mind. And I want to take you through an experience now to help you uh, be in your body. It's going to be short. You can click on the link. I have another link in, the, in this video where you can go to at the actual course with where I actually offer you. I'm going to add another guided meditation, but I have one in there right now. And I'm, soon I'm going to add another one. You have lifetime access to it. And um, when you go to that, uh, that, that landing page, you're actually going to get a chakra awakening just by looking at the landing page because I have a, be a woman and there's nice energy around her, but then the, the actual landing page has a rainbow, a spectrum of the colors. This is gonna activate your body. And then you're gonna go down and you're gonna see a color for each of the chakras and then an affirmation for each of the chakras. So it's gonna have the first chakra and then the affirmation and the color. Second chakra color, uh, title of the chakra or name of the chakra and then the affirmation. So for example, the first chakra, you're going to see beautiful, rich red. It's going to say first chakra and then the affirmation is going to be, I feel safe and at home with myself. So I want you to go after this video and check out that sales page, sales page, landing page. And even if you don't purchase the guided meditation, you're going to get an awakening just by looking and reading the landing page. If you use coupon code chakras, you'll get 10% off and it's only $10. All right. So for now, let's go. Oh, I want to explain the locations. So we're going to be putting our hands on the top of our head and you do whatever you do. You can do it exactly the way I'm doing it, or you can do it however it feels comfortable to you. And I would recommend that you close your eyes to do this, but you're, you're going to be putting your hands over here and I want you to feel the energy. And you can do this with me right now if you want. You're going to then from there go to your third eye and put that palm of your hand. There's actually energy flowing out the chakra. There's little mini chakras out of the palms of your hands. And you're going to put it right there. And then you're going to put it over your throat chakra. And the throat chakra is very sensitive because we all, many of us have past life memories in our DNA of being strangled or hung or whatever. I mean, we come from a violent past. So you want to be very gentle with the throat chakra and make sure you know to put your head up because you'll put a kink in the back of your neck, bow your chin, Jalandhara Bandha, and then you're going to just put your hand gently over your throat chakra. And then you're going to put your hands over your heart chakra. And then you're going to put your hands over your solar plexus. They all show way up here. I don't like that. It's, it's, I, it's, it's the belly button. That's where you came from. You're corded to your mama, right? So it's right there. And then if you don't feel comfortable putting it over your genitals, then just put it right on top of your pubic bone, okay? And then the most difficult one that I'm going to do is, and you can do it any which way you want, is the root chakra. So what's the root chakra? That's this guy at the bottom of your body. So you can either uh, bring back and just touch your tailbone. You can take your fingers and plant them into a Mother Earth and visualize that energy sourcing down into Mother Earth from the bottom of your body. Or if you can be so bold, you can take and put uh, your hand, well, you can put your hands on either side. This is a yet another way to do it right there. And then just imagine that energy from the root of your being, the bottom of your body, going down. Or you can literally take your hands and put them one in front and one in back. I like that. It just really, this is a beautiful way to ground you. And you know what? They have pornography all over the internet, but let's see if this one gets pulled because I put my hand ooh, on my body. Okay. Anyway, that's what you can do. I'm going to do this for the safety of, if I, I'm not here to trigger people. I'm here to support you. So I'm going to go like this, but you do what feels good to you because this experience should be, it's going to be quick. It's not going to be too long. In my course, I'll have a longer version. But this one just gives you a taste. So I want you to get yourself comfortable right now. I want you to make sure that you're available, that, that you don't have any outer distractions. Put your phone on 
airplane mode. Oh, but you might be listening through the phone. Do whatever you need and let's begin. Let's begin this beautiful, very brief journey of balancing, opening, and healing your chakras. Okay, so let get yourself comfortable and rub your hands together. Visualize yourself being bathed in a beautiful, beautiful, bright white light. Calling on your guides and your guardian angels and divine light of the most high to bathe you in this divine light, to awaken you and heal you and balance you and open you. So take a nice long deep inhale. Oh, and visualize beautiful bright golden light coming in to your hands. Okay, use your imagination and just rub them really fast. Take a deep inhale. And then as you exhale, place your hands. It doesn't matter left or right over each other, whatever you feel most comfortable with. And if it feels different, tune into that and switch hands. Relax your shoulders. Close your eyes and visualize a beautiful bright white light coming in through your crown chakra. Allow yourself to feel the warmth of your hands at the top of your head. Calming your thoughts. Letting go of that monkey mind. And feel the warmth of your hands on the top of your head, your crown chakra. And visualize a beautiful violet white light coming in through your crown chakra. And then gently move to your third eye, your sixth chakra. Feel the warmth of your hands penetrating into your sixth chakra your third eye and visualize a beautiful bright white light bathing it and then feel the energy of an indigo color in your third eye closing your other two and just going deep into your third eye imagining an ind beautiful indigo color and feel the warmth of your hands penetrating into your third eye, awakening your intuition. And then coming down to your throat chakra, gently placing your hands over your throat chakra. Breathe into your throat chakra. Visualize a beautiful bright white light coming deeper into your body and bathing your throat chakra, clearing and cleansing. And then imagine a beautiful color blue Balancing your throat chakra, balancing your thyroid. Breathe it in and allow the healing to happen. And then gently come to your heart, placing your hands over your heart chakra, your middle chakra, your chakra of love. And visualize that beautiful bright white light coming into your heart chakra, swirling around, clearing and cleansing. And then imagine a beautiful green light through your heart chakra. Breathe into your heart chakra. And feel the warmth of your hands penetrating and opening and balancing and healing your heart smiling down into your heart, sending yourself kind regard. Allow your chest, your lungs, and your heart to open with every breath as you slowly move down to your solar plexus, the seat of your emotions, your third chakra. Ooh, feel the warmth of your hands penetrating into your solar plexus, awakening your gut instincts, balancing and nurturing and supporting your emotional awareness. 
Visualize a beautiful bright white light coming in and swirling around your belly, clearing and cleansing. And then imagine a beautiful bright yellow light like a sun radiating from your belly. Breathe deep into your belly and feel the warmth of your hands. And then gently bring your hands down to your second chakra. Your sex, power, and money chakra. Your sacral chakra. Your reproductive organs. Your center of creativity and creative expression and what you are birthing out into the world. Feel the warmth of your hands at your second chakra. And visualize a beautiful, bright, white light swirling around, healing, clearing, and cleansing. Breathe into your second chakra. And see a beautiful orange, bright orange light awakening your creative expression. Your unique expression of you. Breathe that orange light into your second chakra. Smile down into your second chakra. And then gently moving down into your first chakra. So however you want to express the contact with your first chakra, as I showed you before, Go to that position and become aware of your first chakra, or your root chakra, and visualize this beautiful, bright, white light moving through your body all the way down to the bottom of your body, the base of your spine, the root of your being, an anchor into Mother Earth. Visualize a beautiful red light. Feel the warmth of this connection to Mother Earth and connect to Mother Earth. Visualize a cord rooting down into Mother Earth, feeling safe, feeling grounded, feeling connected and stable in your life. Breathe that red energy from the bottom of your body all the way down deep into Mother Earth. And then come gently back to your heart chakra and smile into your heart chakra, putting your hands on your heart chakra. And feel your connection of the heavens above and the earth below and how you are this beautiful conduit of colorful, unique energy expressing you, the unique you. And feel your body in this moment as it's all lit up, alive, balanced, open, receptive, and centered. Connected to source and your higher wisdom opening up your third eye and your intuition, speaking your truth and aligning your will with divine will, opening your heart to yourself and others, being balanced emotionally and honoring your emotions, then honoring your sexuality and your relationship, how you navigate your sexuality with yourself and others and then feeling safe in the world and in your life. So be it. Take a nice long deep inhale. And as you exhale, open your eyes. Oh my goodness. Your hands are your healers. And when you make contact, you awaken something beautiful and powerful inside you.
your unique you, the expression of you. And that is what's happening right now. So I hope you enjoyed this. Next Wednesday, I'm going to be talking about the first chakra, the positive, negative expressions, how you get stuck, how you can get unstuck, and an exercise that you can do to work that first chakra. We're going to have a lot of fun doing it. Now, as I said again, if you really enjoyed this video, I literally can't do Facebook ads. You know, they have pornography all over the internet, but the algorithms, it would be a total uphill battle. So I'm really dependent upon you. If, the, if this tugs at your heart, share it with a friend. If it's on Facebook, share it on your timeline. Um, also, go get the color healing. Um, go to the link. You'll get the link that is an article that's going to give you more detailed intellectual stuff about the chakras and then even more detailed you'll see links to each chakra and i'm still developing it even more but i wrote this these articles over six uh, in 2016 and now i'm revamping them i'm bringing them up dusting them off and bringing them to you and i'm having so much fun doing it it's bringing a lot of aliveness and color into my life and it's bringing a deeper connection to me and my energy and so I hope it's going to do the same for you. All right. So that's for today. I'll see you next Wednesday. And I look forward to um, journeying through this great awakening together. Namaste.